All right, we're in my truck. It is 8.40 and we are done. Uh, saw some of my buddies post on social media. The sheep said we're here, did not disappoint. We got some shrimp early this morning. We went at like 5.15 to go and get shrimp. Uh, just because like in the summer and then when it gets hot like this, they sell out quick. So we woke up early, uh, went and got shrimp at 5.15, came out here. Um, I'll do a tackle section at the end of this. Uh, we're doing, we usually, uh, use the split shot method but over the years i've been using a cork more so we're running a cork a 7-eleven custom rod that i built it's a little bit of a heavier rod i actually swapped my 4000 on it probably repeat myself when i do the tackle section but anyways we got some shrimp it's a bad day to be a sheep's head uh it's a bad day to be a sheep's head anywhere on the jetty they're thick but like i said i'll roll the footage now of us catching the fish i'm not doing much talking I'm out here. I don't like really talking to the camera that much when I'm fishing. So we'll get into the action and then I'll do some voiceover to kind of explain what I'm doing here. All right. So to start off, what we're going to be doing, um, I'm just casting this cork. We're running a popping cork with a lot of leader line, probably five to six feet of a leader line. Um, and two, what you'll see me constantly doing is I'm flipping my bail open. Now when I'm flipping my bail open, there's a lot of current oh, here. In the rock, so right what here. I'm doing is I'm going to flip my bail open and kind of tend my line. I'm trying to have out just enough line for when a sheep's head takes that cork under, I can immediately set the hook. Also, I'm going to include some missed hook sets and Damn lost it. fish just because it's real He's world and these sheep's head can be hard to catch under. sometimes. Damn it. Holy On that rock, there we go. Good one. Oh yeah, we don't need to measure him. Bit our head off. So notice where we're casting. We're literally just casting less than 10 yards from the rocks. These sheeps are right on these layer of rocks that have fallen over kind of over time. You'll see there's one rock just to the right of my cork right now that we just constantly hammered that spot around that rock and that's where we were picking up a lot of these sheep's head. Ow. 
Ah, damn. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm running like six feet a liter. There you go. You got him. <laughs> yeah. It's a big one. Damn it. Fifteen and a half, but we're catching bigger ones. There we go. rocks It's another good size one. Get off that rock. There you go. There he is. Good one too. I think he's a good one at least. Yeah, I think so. Good job, man. Thank you. You think the bobber's better than this? No. Okay. I think, uh, I think it's a lot easier to see a strike, but it's a lot harder to keep them pinned. I just like doing it to see the cork go down. Right. To see him peck it and just pull it down real slow. But if I 
if I was running like a drop shot or like a split shot rig like that, probably would have been out of here a long time ago. <laughs> So we're back at the house. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go over the tackle I was using. Again, this is just what I was using. Uh, plenty of people doing it on smaller gear, trout rods and stuff. Those sheep said there, there's a lot on the rocks right now. You can catch them kind of on anything. There's people out there with offshore kind of jetty rods and short and stubby rods, uh, trout rods, redfish rods. It really doesn't matter. But this is what I was using. Uh, the reason I use this rod is is because it's a 7-Eleven. Um, it is a Heavy power, fast action. It's a Rod Geeks rod. This is actually a rod I built. Got the shrink wrap. It's actually one of my like kingfish rods that I use for throwing big twitch baits. But I actually swapped reels on it and paired it up with a 4000 uh, Shimano Sienna. This is a package reel you can get from Academy out of the plastic packs that are on the walls. That's what I tell people to get whenever I build them a rod, uh, build them a rod, and they don't know what to do for a reel. I say start with that. I own nothing but plastic uh, packaged reels. Um, just cause I don't go through them that fast either. It's not like I'm burning through them. Um, so that's a rod, it's a 7-Eleven, heavy action, uh, fast tip. Um, I was using this rod because as you can see in the video um, that you just watched, I was flipping those sheep's head in and it's nice to flip them in and not have to deal with the rocks or have to get down there with the net. So, for the rig we're using, let me let out some line here. For the rig we're using, um, it is just your popping cork. And this is how much leader line we have. Almost an arm's length of leader line. So I'm running four to five feet of leader line, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, um, depending on where they are. I was kind of at the end, so we were running deeper have two little split shots there and then a real small circle hook now i was actually using a two aught kale hook or like a croaker hook to start with um but luckily i caught my limit because i'm running out of tackle in my small tackle box so uh, we had to switch over to the circle hooks little small circle hooks again this is what i freeline trim with whenever it gets a little bit hotter and those trout are in there and reds and snapper uh and snook so yeah just that and throwing it out there, keeping it close and tight to the rocks. These sheep said, if you're not in the rocks, you're not fishing for them right. So we just kept our lure, uh, not our lure, but we kept our live shrimp close to the rocks. Four feet a liter, heavy rod. Again, you don't need the heavy rod, but it was nice. I was boat flipping those uh, sheep set up on the rocks and that's all we did to catch them. Pretty easy, pretty fast morning. We were limited out by 8.15, so can't complain about that. Thank y'all for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section and I appreciate y'all watching and clicking on this video.